Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Kirsten. I do post videos every single week on all things beauty and I would love to have you stick around. So before you leave, be sure and hit that subscribe button. Anyway, let's get started talking on today's video. So today I wanted to do another first impressions video for you. Um, I have a couple of first impressions videos to film today. I did just film my unboxing, the first influencer box that I have received, my first box box. So if you missed that video, I will leave it linked above here for you to click on if you'd like to go check that out. Um, but anyway, I wanted to do a couple of different first impressions on some foundations I had purchased some that you have seen before on haul videos and some that I just purchased today so you have not seen those before on my channel but for today's little fun foundation first impression I wanted to do the Tarte Shape Tape Hydrating Foundation so if you watched my Ulta haul video then you know that this foundation came from there if you missed that video I will also leave it linked above here so you can click on it if you want to go check it out it is super fun and it shows you how I got $250 worth of products from Ulta for nothing I, I I got it for free and I tell you how to get free products from Ulta so if you want to know how to do that click on that video above that I have linked and um yeah it has some really great information in it and some really cool products but anyway today I wanted to do a first impressions on this foundation so let's just stop rambling and jump on in so I already primed my face this morning if you watched the last video then you know I went to the eye doctor today and I was just running some errands I didn't want to wear makeup because you have to press your face on stuff and I was like I am not gonna wear foundation and get it caked all over everything so I just put on my L'Oreal Paris Glotion and a little bit of eyebrows and I just went with it so since my face is already primed I'm gonna jump on in with foundation I already did a little bit of filling in on my eyebrows so I'm not really gonna go over those at all because I don't really plan on going back out today this is really videos based on the foundation alone so I'm not worried about how perfect the rest of my makeup looks um okay so going in this is what it looks like here and it does have the wand right like that. I am just going to start painting this bad boy on. Okay, that's as much as I'm going to put on right now. I'm going to go in with a Real Technique sponge and I am going to start working this out. Okay, so far, the blendability of it is pretty nice. It's really creamy and smooth. It feels like a pretty lightweight foundation, um, so it takes a little bit more pressure and effort into working it out, whereas if it was thicker and heavier, it would pick up quite a bit and press it down wherever I put it. But where it is a little thinner, it is sticking to the spots where I originally swiped it. But it does blend out nicely. It, it really does. Um, I'm thinking I might go over with one more layer because I can still see some red spots underneath it that I would like to cover up a little more and just see what all this foundation can do. Okay, with that first layer, it is super nice. The color is actually really close. I know um, it's springtime now, and I feel like in the summer I'm going to need a shade a little bit darker, but this is going to be a really good fall and winter foundation, most definitely. So I'm just going to go over a little bit more. I'm going to put a little bit more on the forehead the forehead was pretty good it was mainly these cheeks that needed a little bit more coverage but that little bit that I put on the first time did an amazing job blending out it really did and on these foundations they did not have the reviews that I was expecting them to they had kind of what I thought was lower reviews um 
I had seen on there and a lot of YouTube videos as well, people saying that they weren't as impressed with the coverage, which for people like me, I like medium coverage. Nine times out of ten, I like medium coverage. Typically, um, that is what I go for. Sometimes I do like more of a fuller coverage, but I understand all foundations cannot meet all of your different requirements, whether you want to be light coverage one day, medium the next, and full coverage the day after. So you have to have kind of something to switch it up. But for me, I like a pretty medium coverage on a regular basis. And this to me is medium to full. It's more on the full side that I layered it up and I've done a second layer of it. But it looks beautiful. It looks super nice on the skin over top of that L'Oreal Paris Glotion Primer that I had on. I think that it pairs up nicely with this. It looks beautiful. I'm gonna bring my mirror a little closer so if it gets in the way, I'm sorry. It looks very hydrating on the skin. I'm very impressed with it because it just looks like skin. It does not look too crazy, too cakey, anything like that. It just looks like beautiful porcelain skin is what it looks like. So of course, what else would you expect? I am going in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer just to put on the face there is nothing else that should be used with this foundation than the matching concealer hands down hands down okay and then i'm going to go in with the other side of that same sponge and just kind of blend this out with that concealer that looks so beautiful that that is the full coverage that this face needs. That is just incredible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop off camera. I'm gonna put a little setting powder. I'm gonna do some bronzer blush, a little bit of highlight and put some eyes on. And then when I come back, I'm gonna show you the completed look and also how this foundation held up with other products on top of it. So I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, this is the completed look for the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation. Um, it was super easy to work with. It was super fun. And the rest of my makeup applied so smoothly with it. It went over top of it beautifully. Um, I used the Morphe 15 in Night Master palette for my eyes. And I do not know what I was thinking when I was doing my wings because I got crazy as heck with them. They are literally touching the top of my ears. They are ridiculous. Um, I just kind of started applying and just didn't stop, I guess. But anyway, um, the rest of the makeup applied so nicely with it. I'm sorry for my little distraction here. He wants to jump up on my desk and play with my makeup. When I'm not in here, he will, if I, if I leave the door open to this room, he will jump up on my desk and he will look in my mirror here as you can see that he likes to look at himself in the mirror and he just likes to sniff my makeup brushes and he likes to do his own little thing because he's a little brat aren't you but anyway that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed this first impressions on the tarte shape tape hydrating foundation if you did be sure and give it a huge thumbs up and as always don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos that i have to post and if you missed my last video on unboxing my very first vox box from influencer i will leave it linked at the very end of this video for you to click on if you would like to do so to check it out but anyway i will catch you all next time brennan and i say bye bye say bye bye like my mommy's videos, subscribe to my mommy's channel so you can see all of her posts. <laughs> Bye everyone.